Welcome back to the Ocarina of Time randomizer. So, anyways, anybody knows how to do a good scavenger hunt is that what you want to do is check every single area that is open to you, in this case the town market, and then go for every essential item that you can while you still can. And then we'll worry about the later ones like the bomb chew, a bowling alley and such until later because I don't have a bomb bag in order to play that game. So, anyways, I don't know if I'm able to play this game yet because... Okay, never mind. Um, it already it seems that you already have the slingshot because, uh, well, you're supposed to get it in the original game. That's what I questioned about uh, last time. Let's see. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. I want to, like, get myself adjusted here. Okay. Because, like, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, barely. Sorry, I'm, like, concentrating. I don't want to. I messed it up. I messed it up. But I think I can get a free game if I can get over 80, so... Sorry, I'm like a. I'm using a different uh, g kind of control scheme right here because like my con my controller can switch between two different settings, and I set one of them uh, just for this uh, game right here, uh, just to make sure I land it just right on. Because uh... oh, there we go. Okay, almost. Okay, I kind of got it like in a more stiff position. So okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm like holding my breath right here, making sure. I Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I set it to that setting because uh, if you use the analog stick, it gets really tedious because uh, the N64 controller was more built up for something like that. So I set my controller into more of a, a, a stiffer uh, kind of um, a stiffer uh, sensitivity. That's what I was uh, going for uh, to make sure that I got that because like, kind of like pressing the button like two or three times is uh, better to adjust uh, rather than using the analog stick. It's a lot more... Uh, it's uh, it's a lot easier. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so I don't think that there's really anything else that I can get here, uh, to be honest. And of course, I got the piece of heart from that guy. So what we need to do next is that we need to root out, root out the next thing, uh, which is going back to Lon Lon Ranch. And what this is what I should have done in the first place. But I got so excited with the uh, lens of truth and the magic. Uh, well, I got to get the school to let in here. I know you're hiding here. Come here. Okay, I got a decky stick. There you go. Okay, and then I'm gonna. I I was uh, rupee farming a little bit before I came on, uh, was so I could get enough to do the slingshot game and to do Talon's game, so I could get right into it. Okay, so next is to do a Talon's game over at uh, Lon Lon Ranch, and then we can take care of all the stuff in that area. And then uh, the next plan of attack is that well, assuming what I get from a uh, Talon, well, I got a piece of heart, so who knows? Maybe I'll get something trivial, like always. I swear, because like the last part, uh, like with going into the the treasure chest thing, it just bloopied me. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm still trying to recover from that. Man, that, that was just cruel. But there is a lot more worse that could happen, though. Oh, can you imagine like going for the 10 ghosts? Oh, so just doing all of that hard work and then all you get is just a piece of heart. <laughs> that actually does happen and it is shuffled along with the items. But I'll tell you more about that in a second. I got to tell you about my last run with that. Okay, so we all know with uh, Talon's game is that what we want to do is uh, take the normal cuckoos, which are all scattered around the room, and then just kind of corner them over into this area so uh, we can pick up the super ones uh, right off the bat. Okay, so let's grab all of them, and they don't all have to be, like, uh, pushed into that corner, but a good majority. So that way we can just pick them all up, and then we can just be on our way, because I don't want to waste any more rupees, and I don't want to waste anybody's time. So let's just do this the super fast and convenient way. So uh, what's the best way to play wh Where's Waldo? Well, remove everything except for Waldo, right? That's the best way to go about these kind of games. Okay, and then I think, get it back over there. Get back into your little coop back there, okay? Oh, one more. How did you just escape me? All right, there we go. All right, now let's hurry up and talk to him so he can shoot the super cuckoos right into the... Right into the nest. Okay. I don't know what really makes these things so special. Other than that, you can identify them. They must be like your personal pets, I guess. Okay. Two more to find, and... Well, oh. Oh. Oh, I was hiding in the hay right here. I was like, where'd it go? Okay. That was kind of funny, though. I've never really seen it go into the hay that deep fit before. Okay. So, what wonderful item are you going to give me? Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Oh... Well, th that is something. Well, I was talking last episode about like getting into the Shadow Temple using Din's Fire, so 
Well, I, I guess I got a little bit of luck, a little bit of premonition juice going in me to guess something like that. <laughs> okay, so we got that. So what can we do with Dinspire? Um, really nothing. <laughs> There's nothing we can do with Dinspire at the moment. It's It'll become essential later on, but not exactly practical in getting anything done as a kid, though. Oh, it can't help me in clearing some rooms of enemies if that happens to come up, though. And uh, I remember... I remember thinking that, I remember there was a criticism going towards this game uh, when it came to the style children right? coming here at the night because they don't really do anything. They're kind of really stupid enemies. <laughs> it is kind of true, like the AI behind the Ocarina of Time, it's not the, really the best out there except for Stalfos, I suppose, but other than that, it is a pretty straightforward AI. Like when you're like holding up your shield and trying to move around and weave around them, it, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Oh crap, I don't have the Sun Song, but um... Well, let's see. Uh, I do know that kid goes around in the graveyard during the daytime, so I'm not allowed to move graves then. So, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you the, this to you guys, but Dante's uh, mini game, it's been uh, configured uh, w with this uh, randomizer, so you can automatically get the essential item on the first try if you happen to, yeah, if, if you happen to uh, get into the mini game for the first time. So, uh, that's been, which is really nice. I, I'm so glad that the randomizer, like, it encourages us so much uh, thinking skills in order to find its items. But at the, the same time, it gets rid of a lot of the tedious stuff. Uh, so that's really nice. And then I got to go hunt down the cuckoos uh, for that cuckoo lady. Uh, I guess it's Anju, but she doesn't really have a name in Ocarina of Time. So I guess I'll just call her Anju, I suppose. I'm trying to, like, look for rupees. Uh, but maybe I'll get bloopied or find a big rupee uh, when I go and go for the shield, I suppose. Oh, it's worth a shot anyways. Okay, so I think if I remember right. Oh, I can't get the other item though Because uh, I need to I need to, oh wait, I have to inspire. What am I talking about? I have another weapon now Of course I can get rid of the the redead now. Okay, so let's open this up. Hopefully it's rupees. Oh Well, I was half right. Well, I got uh, oh wait I think it's only ten rupees in order to play Dampe's game if I yeah, yeah, that's right. So if I can somehow find five more, and I think I know just where to find it, too. So I think, uh, going deep. Oh, there's the golden sculptula. Uh, you're just mocking me. Can't do anything until I get the boomerang. Let's see. I, I do know that... Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And move out of the way. Oh, there we go. Got the blue rupee. I got exactly what I need. Then ignore the pool, and then let's get into Din's fire, and let's burn the sucker so I can get a chest. Okay. Yes, I'm so glad I got something other than a decky stick. So let's burn you. Oh, wait. Does that kill him in one hit? I was, like, anticipating. I haven't killed a redead with a... Okay, d did that work? Is he dead? Oh, and I got a magic potion, too. Die. Die. Oh, do I need the do I need the sun song in order to what what the crap? Did that like not kill him or something? Well, like once you kill the redead, then the chest is supposed to appear. But for some reason, hmm, that is really weird. So, are you supposed to play? I I don't know. I'm I maybe I'm doing I'm not doing it right. I suppose or oh maybe oh I think you're supposed to freeze him with the sun song first and then. You're supposed to kill him, but unfortunately, I don't have Zelda's lullaby in order to get in that grave. And regardless, it's randomized with the song, so can't really do anything about that. Where is Dampe, by the way? Dampe is supposed to be here. Is it, like, supposed to be more? Oh, let's see. Hold on. I think I have to let it go nighttime a little bit more. 22.18 now is... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Talk about a troll. So the graveyard keeping thing... Okay. Oh, yeah. It was night for a while when I went into the... When I went into Hyrule Field. So I remember there's a certain time limit uh, when it comes to the... When it comes to Dampe, anyways. Okay. So what do I do now? Um, What I can probably do is uh, go Sculptula hunting, uh, actually. So I know there's a Sculptula over here. Let's burn you two, Crisp. And then the Sculptulas here are a lot more accessible here because you're not supposed to get the boomerang at this point. Well, uh, sort of. Like, there's some that I can reach more than others. 
Like, I can reach that one that's sitting there on that uh, red building over there. So, let's knock him down. And then we can uh, get the lovely Sculptula token amongst our collection. Come on. Get up, Link. Get up. Burn! 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 And then... Uh, oh, I'm running out of dense fire, too. So I can't really... I can only afford, like, one more Sculptula, I suppose. And I don't... Hmm. Okay. Oh! I'm trying to like roll into that, but it's trying to There we go, okay So I got enough for one more, but I can think of a few more. Let's see. Does did inspire get rid of uh, brushes? No, it doesn't. I was hoping Okay, so I used all of Dins fire so that's over now Let's see how many skills to let so I five. Okay, that works and then uh, next thing I Got to do is I got to let it become daylight. Oh <laughs> People are disgusting. Well, isn't that guy such the cynical guy, but well, oh, it's okay. Everybody is a critic, I suppose. All right, so let's head down. All right, let's wait for it to become daytime. I got these lovely guys waiting here for my company. And in the meantime, I think it's almost daylight. Actually, I think I saw a glimmer of the. Oh man, I'm trying to get off the Z targeting. Let's see. Will this tree give me anything? Please. No hearts. Oh, it actually, gave me hearts. All right. Yeah, you can kind of see where the complaints are coming with this, is that... <laughs> yeah, th this is uh, kind of silly by today's standards. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think I heard the cuckoos of chirp yet, so I don't think it's daytime yet. What the heck? Like, I thought, the I thought that those guys were supposed to be out a little bit longer. Oh, is it because I wasn't close to the village or something? Hmm, that was really strange. Come on, let it be daylight. All done. Okay, so those guys are gone. Let's go help Andrew. Let's go collect your lovely little cuckoos. And let's go get ourselves a lovely little item. Okay, first is, uh, okay, there are seven cuckoos around, if I remember right. So the first one is over here by the entrance. Let's get you, you little slacker. You know... It's kind of funny that they don't have a gate in the front entrance uh, out to Kakariko Village. Uh, not only do they like keep the chickens in, but monsters and stuff can like come inside. It's, but then again, there are stairs, so. But I don't know. That's uh, kind of interesting that the school kids or can like appear in Hyro Field, but with Kakariko Village so close, I'm surprised that those uh, style children don't really pop up. So I don't know. It's worth thinking about. It's funny how the inconsistencies can help sometimes, or maybe they actually know that there are people here and guards there, so they don't really mess with it. Hey, 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 stop freaking out. Give me, let me grab you, let me grab you. Come on, there we go. And now I need to fly with you. Oh. Oh, crap. I, oh, oh. Nope, no, 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 I don't need to despair. I was thinking I need like a Dekina or something in order to get that, get to that Kaku, but I don't need to. You just need a bit of ingenuity. Is that instead of using the cuckoo to fly over there, why don't we use the cuckoo and fly over here? And then I'll throw you down. I'll grab you. That way I can pull you off. I thought for a second that that part was done because I didn't have a decky nuts or anything to scare the cuckoo off of the ledge. Well, that's what I usually use. Or when I did it with the first randomized uh, part, I did it with a decky stick. And I did a jump attack through the gate in order to scare him and then oh gotcha okay let's see and then i need to grab this little guy before he runs into a hole or something okay hey i didn't mean to grab the pot nope don't you dare go down the hole sometimes they do do that okay so you jump down there and then there is a there's a hole right there and then uh, grab you come with me little guy we'll throw you over the gate and then we got one more there we go we got one more heading up here. Oh yeah, and there's a chest. Uh, there's a chest in that hole though too. But I'll come back to that here in a second because I'm doing Kaku uh, Andrew's quest, and if I head down into that hole, then the quest will reset. So I don't want to do that just yet. So let's take this Kaku, and then I think I threw down two more. So I think there's four more uh, cuckoos to find. Um, something like that. Let's see. So let's throw you in, and then there are two more over by the gate over here. Come here, my little furry friend. I have a need for you. 
Okay, head in there. And then I think I threw one more gate over the gate, so he should be somewhere in this area right here. Hello. Hello, little guy. Come with me. We're going to go have some adventures together. There we go. And then, not done yet. I think we need just one more. Oh, wait. I threw the cuckoo down off of this ledge, too. So I was right in saying that there were, were uh, seven cuckoos. <laughs> I haven't played this game for a while, so I wasn't sure if it was six or seven, but I remember where they all are, though. So I've played this game like a billion, kajillion, trillion, quadrillion times. Oh, if that was true, <laughs> then I should have remembered that it was six or seven. That was funny. It's like, uh, it's funny, because uh, I played it like ten times, but there's still places I need to go check sometimes. Okay, so we got that, and then there's the small chest over in that hole I need to go check, too, so... We're not quite done here in Akakrika Village just yet. Oh. And that's right. I can go jump up on that building over to the left too, but... Uh, that's uh, it's a little bit tedious, but... Well, I can give it a try, I suppose. But if I fail it once, then I probably will get it as Adult Link. I don't know. Something like that. There we go. Ah! Oh, I got a full heart. Uh, that doesn't really help my case in uh, helping me clear any dungeons, lady. <sighs> it's uh, funny because the essential items are doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's like, well, with helping Talon, that's something equivalent to getting a piece of heart. And then, of course, helping Angie is equivalent to getting a piece of heart. <laughs> so it's like I'm doing side quests, but it's not side quests. How does that work? Okay, so let's head up here to the ladder and then if I... If you can jump over to the left just right, I think you can get up onto the gate, so I actually want to try that. Okay, so let's see. I want to... I need to get myself as horizontal as possible, though. Okay. Oh! There we go. Perfect! Perfect! I love it! Give me something! Please don't give me a piece of heart. Well, wish granted. <laughs> I asked for something other than a piece of heart, and look what it... Blech! Blech! Look what a blood you gave me. It bloopied me again. Come on, you can't keep doing this to me in this run. You can't keep doing this to me. I can only take so much, you know. Okay, so let's head down here. I'm going to grab one of those cuckoos again, and then I'm going to head down into that. Oh, wait, let's wait. For... No, wait, the cookies will be gone if I head back in Nightfall. So that's not going to help either. So much backtracking. Got to love the backtracking with this randomizer. Come here. Little bird. For I need you in order to find a valuable hole with a valuable chest inside with something hopefully valuable inside. Catch my drift, you little chicken. I need you. You are expendable to me. I need you for a means to an end. I don't really like you. I don't really like you as a pet. I just need you to help you fulfill my goals. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I just love being silly sometimes, like, uh, well, like, there's this philosophy I have is that being a, being an adult is kind of boring, so I kind of like being random and just kid-like, because, uh, well, it's just so much more fun and random and interesting. Uh, <laughs> Another bloopy. Another bloopy, guys. Oh, what do you think, guys? What do you think I should do? I guess, uh, I guess I should go with the original plan. I guess is to root out everything I can think of as a kid. But now I need to think about my next game plan, though. Is that after going to see Dampe, what should I do after that? Because I can't go get the other box until I get the Sun Song, in order to. In order to get that chest. Okay, so let's wait here for a bit until it turns nightfall. I wish I had the sun song, but sorry guys, I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Okay, so let's think about our next move. Um, well, there's the Decky Stick upgrade I can get into the Decky Woods. And if I can get a Decky Stick, I can actually head towards the Sarai Song. Yeah, that's an idea. So I can probably head towards the Lost Woods next. I'm thinking about uh, Goron City, but I don't think there's really anything I can do because you can't. Pick up the bombs unless you have the Goron's Bracelet. I don't have the Bomb Bag. I don't think there's really anything you can do. I don't have Zelda's Lullaby, so I can't go see Daryunia. 
And I need to write a song in order for him to give me the, well, what's supposed to be, supposed to be the Goron bracelet, but I can't do that either. Can't get into the second dungeon. Can't bomb any holes in the wall in order to get the chests in those. There's nothing. I can't go up to Goron City in that state. So, I did get the silver scale in the first part, though. So, that's a lead. And then, if you remember that bottle of... That's supposed to have Rudo's uh, letter inside of it. That's supposed to be randomized too. So uh, I, I can go check that out next. That's pro probably what I'll do. But I definitely got to go buy some more Deku sticks though too. After I go see uh, Dampe's uh, thing. And then uh, let's see. I won't be able to do that all within this part. But we'll, we'll see how far we can get. I think I still got about 11 minutes left or so. Oh, we got. I just wish that this day to night cycle. I just wish it wasn't so. Yeah. Well, now it feels long because I'm actually waiting for it at the start of the cycle. But, okay. Well, let's knock down this tree and see what we can get. Because, like, oh! What am I talking about? I can go get a Deku stick right now. Oh, uh, we'll uh, help with uh, getting Zora's domain, but just in case, though, I want to get D Dampe's, uh, thinking it might be 20 rupees. I don't think so. I think it's 10, but I just want to be sure, though. Because I don't want to backtrack in there and then backtrack back out. Hmm. Darn it, I should have gone towards uh, Soraya first. <laughs> yes, I'm doing this all for one quest. Okay, now it's starting to get orange. Finally! 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 I'll roll on some steps in the meantime. I don't know why, but I'm reminded of Metal Gear. <laughs> if I'm just a snake like rolling on the stairs, sometimes he does a kerplat every time that he rolls down the stairs. <laughs> nice. Come on, let those style children know so I can head towards the Dampe's grave. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Then I got the got the prelude of light, but I wish that got me closer to Sarai instead of further away from it. And there's another problem though too, is that if you want to go for the Deku stick upgrade, uh, everything with that, you need 40 rupees too. Oh, but I think I know what to actually do in order to earn that though. But I'll take care of that here in a second. Let's go towards Dampe and get our lovely reward that the game has a. Uh, Customize for us. Okay, let's head in. Let's head towards Dampy. There he is. Now give me my prize. Give me my prize. Yep, let's do it. Let's see, what is it? Oh no! Not again! At this rate, I'm going to get all of my hearts before I get my items. Okay, so Goron City is definitely crossed out. Death Mountain is definitely crossed out. There's nothing I can do there. Let's see. Since I need 40 rupees in order to get that Deku Stick upgrade with Deku Woods, I'm probably going to go to that later. I'll probably grind for that money off screen because I didn't find any random chests that gave me a lot of rupees. And trust me, they are in the game. You can get 50 rupees and gold rupees in chests. That does happen. But, unfortunately, all I've been getting is bloopied the whole time, so I've been getting nothing of that sort. And let's see, there is the fish mini game, but I don't have time for that. Let's see, what is there time for? Let's see, and then I need time in order to get the Deku sticks, though, too, in order to, like, hit the wolf and uh, get towards uh, Sarai's song, though, too. But, yeah, might as well do that while I'm doing it with the Deku stick upgrade, and while I'm in Deku Woods... I can do that uh, Ocarina, very Ocarina minigame though too in order to get an essential item. So, a lot of good things. But for now though, since uh, Lake Hylia is so much out of the way, I am probably going to head there and uh, get the bottle though really quick. Um, wait a second though. I do need a Deku stick though really quick because... Uh, oh, if you remember, there's a place inside of the Zora's Domain where you can use the Deku stick in order to uh, carry the torch to everywhere so you can get some essential items. And I also need some rupees though too, but I don't know. I, mm. I don't know, like the problem I'm having at the moment is that everything requires rupees. Well, I don't have the time in this part in order to get it though. Oh, like there's no point. There's really no point in order to go to Zora's Domain without getting a Deku Stick at least. So I at least want to go do that. Because like there, it makes no sense to go over there, get the bottle, then come back and then... Head over there and then you use the Deku Stick. or And then go back there later for the Deku Stick part. So let's see. So let's head into here. 
And let's go buy a single Deku stick. So, uh, for, for a lovely trip, anyways. <laughs> There's so much back and forth with this. Well, it wouldn't really be this way if I happened to find a random item. I'm sorry, guys. But this game is testing my patience at the moment. That's been kind of a common thing that's been going on with all of these randomizers, is that I've been getting some incredibly bad luck uh, for some reason. Like, so far, I haven't really been getting anything too fruitful. Well, A Link to the Past has been kind of nice to me so far, but I don't know. After one part, I can't really say if it's going to be a good run or not. And plus, I don't know a lot about A Link to the Past either. Okay, so nothing in the Hyrule area. Can't use Din's Fire for anything, and besides, my magic's gone, so good luck with that. Okay, got Taylin, got Lon Lon Ranch. Yep, next thing is definitely Lake Hylia. And then I was thinking of Gruta Valley, though, too. And that place has a few things, like the Piece of Heart and the Waterfall. And then you have to get the Piece of Heart over at the crate. So that's two things. Ooh! I could probably do that at the same time, is that with Gruta Valley, there's a waterfall there over at the bottom that can just take me directly into Lake Hylia, right? So why don't I go to Gruta Valley and get one of those, maybe probably the piece of heart uh, within the waterfall, and then I can just jump straight into Lake Hylia. Well, it will save me a trip at least. Uh, from going to Gruta Valley, and hopefully I can finally get an essential item too. I'm just getting pieces of hearts like left to right and bloopies. That hasn't been kind to me either. And of course that guy really loves me. What are those things called by the way? Man, those things are... Uh, it's kind of ironic, though, because this, this is supposed to be the safe world, like, compared to Ganondorf's thing, but those things can be pretty scary, though, sometimes, too, but... Uh, but that's just me, though. You know what? what's uh, kind of ironic is that Reed Dead's kind of scared a lot of people, well, like, when they played this game the first time. It was actually those things that scared me the most uh, during the daytime, because <laughs> they're so scary, like, those little things that they kind of send after you, and then they never stop chasing you for a while, so... Those things actually scared me for a while, so there, there's a little hidden secret about me. So, I am scared of something. <laughs> okay, so let's grab this cuckoo, let's jump down into the waterfall, and then let's go grab the bottle. And then, oh, I need rupees though in order to play the Zora minigame too! Oh, rupees for everything, and then I need rupees for the fishing game too. Hmm, well, let's see if this can lead me to a random item, because I need something. So far, I haven't been getting any essential item that can get me past any dungeon yet. Well, like the Lens of Truth, but I wouldn't really call the bottom of the well an official dungeon, though. Which I'll probably bite back on that, because when I do the Ocarina of Time ranking, I'm going to be including the bottom of the well, so, so much for that. Stop it! Stop it! No, not again! There has to be one. There has to be one. In this part, please, just one. And of course, the more I keep on begging, then the more that karma is going to be working against me, I'm going to be getting bloopied or a piece of heart. I just hope, I just hope, with this uh, bottle, with uh, Ruda's letter and such, I just hope that everything will come together. Well, and if I happen to get bloopied uh, with this uh, bottle thing, though, too, I'll have enough uh, money in order to do the Zor minigame, too, so it's not... Completely a, a, a bad thing, I suppose. Let's see, there's a Zora right there. Oh, you can tell because of the bubbles right there. <laughs> yeah, Zoras have always kind of fascinated me. Well, like, to be honest, it's kind of hard to... Oh, let's see. Here, isn't the... Oh, wait, I already... Oh, there it is. Okay, and then let's go. Come to me, my bottle. Oh. Oh. oh, It's like waiting for me. It's like waiting for me to scavenge everything as a kid. Well, it turns out, guys, that it crashed. Yeah, I kind of expected that this would show up like sometime sooner or later, I suppose. And well, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get back to where I was off screen, so you don't have to worry about me like um. Uh, doing all that over again or anything but anyways in the next part i'll uh i'll probably finish up zora's domain uh i'll do the zora minigame 
and then I'll do the Deku stick thing, and then uh, I can't get into uh, Lord Jabu Jabu's belly because you got to find Rudo's letter in the Overworld, which I haven't got. And then I still got to do the fishing mini game, and then head over to Deku Woods. So that's my game plan for next time. I'm not completely out of leads yet, so I can still run off of a few things to help me uh, keep going. And then there's also Zora's River too, so got plenty of leads. I'm pretty much like half done to finding all the available leads as Kid Link, so we can still look at this like a half bottle kind of full and things. Because if I find all the trivial items now, then that means I can find more of the essential items like later on, right? So there we go. There's the optimism. Okay, so. Uh, that's it for this part. Sorry, it crashed and stuff. I'll catch back up, so don't worry about it. And I was expecting it to crash, so uh, that's part of the thing for using Project 64, I suppose. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next part.